Hello and a warm welcome to Federal Special Program, Capital Beat. Chief Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Sidramaya, is facing a tough time after Karnataka High Court dismissed Sidramaya's challenge to Governor Tavarchan Gehlot's decision to sanction his prosecution in the alleged Muda land scam case. Now, Justice Nagaprasanna said that Governor applied his mind in abundance and the order does not differ from non-application. He said that no fault of the governor and the facts which have been narrated need investigation. Now, this obviously means that the lower court can initiate legal proceedings against Chief Minister Sidramaya, which includes filing of an FIR, and this could ramp up pressure on Sidramaya. Though Congress has been saying that this is a conspiracy, BJP has started demanding Sidramaya's uh, resignation. But the big question is, can Sidramaya withstand this political pressure? Joining me now is uh, K.S. Dakshan Murthy, who is the managing editor of The Federal. Thank you so much, Dakshan, for joining. We have B.M. Hanif, who is a senior journalist and political commentator. Both of them join us from Bangalore. Thank you so much, Hanif, for joining. And let's Thank begin you. with Hanif, uh, and uh, then I'll come to Dakshan. But Mr. Hanif, uh, uh, what is your observation? Can Sidramaya really withstand this pressure? Because now the, the, the lower courts will start the, with the legal proceedings, and Congress is trying to put up a brave face. Or whether it is DK Shivakumar or anybody else from Congress, they are just saying that this is a conspiracy and we'll fight it out. Uh, Sidrama is always a lucky guy while comparing to other politicians. Now also in this grave situation also, High Command is very strongly supporting him. And moreover, all the cabinet colleagues, almost all the cabinet colleagues, uh, maybe except Shiv Kumar because uh, th there is some reservation on him to me. Uh, but they are also all supporting Sidramaya because it is very clear that if High Command is deciding to replace Sidramaya, there is no uh, strong alternative. I, I, I mean strong alternative. That means if you select anyone in the cabinet or anyone in the party, number of problems will be there the caste, the OBC factor, and the seniority, and the experience, and an image, a political image. Comparing to Sidramaya, no other cabinet colleagues have got such a big political image in Karnataka. That is the real problem. So we have to see once again towards court what will happen. Right now, the strategy of the state government is they announced the uh, 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 Loka Yukta inquiry and it will go on. And there are three months time court has been given to them. So they will buy that three months time and then according to my uh, knowledge, they will file a B report. They will inquire it and file a B report because quite naturally the Loka Yukta is coming under chief minister. That is the chief minister is the boss for Loka Yukta and COD and police everything. So, in between, why I am saying that we have to look once again towards course. There is a, there will be an application in the court. I think they filed yesterday, Dakshinamurti. I don't know clearly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yesterday they filed. Yeah. So, the argument quite naturally is uh, accused himself is the boss for the inquiry, uh, this agency. That will not be suitable for the justice, isn't it? So that point will come and definitely that point will stand in the court. Right. But still Congress is very much there behind Sidramaya. Only alternative I am seeing now is Mr. Kharge. But High Command is in a, uh, in a dog because Kharge is very much, he, he is very necessary person there to solve the problems in AACC also. Uh, I think uh, Rahul Gandhi as well as uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi may not leave him from that, relieve him from that post. He's, he's, he's a Dalit, tall Dalit leader in India and from South India. And uh, unlike other few AACC presidents, he is not uh, making his own lobby within the AACC. Uh, he is completely he's, uh, obeying the orders from uh, Gandhi family. So these are all the plus points. And uh, moreover, the opposition, BJP is also, uh, it is not that much strong while commenting or uh, criticizing Kharge because he is a Dalit leader. That aspect is also there. 
and he is uh, fluent hindi he is speaking speaking hindi also and he is very popular in all other uh, north indian states also so that is that is the real problem of congress say now but uh, like uh, i'll come to dakshin now the dakshin this loka yukta inquiry which has been ordered uh, you know at the state level by the congress is that inquiry enough to absolve uh, said ramaya and as what hanif said that you know this this uh, there would be questions on this as well it could be challenged also so which means that the troubles for congress are far from over <clears throat> see fundamentally the lokayukta inquiry the lokayukta is an autonomous body unlike the acb there was a attempt by in fact sidramaya to uh, have a you know to dilute lokayukta and have something called the anti corruption uh, body so acb so so the point is that acb the high court uh, said junk debt and then so the lokayukta came back now the uh, now the, it has turned out to be an advantage for sidramaya because the lokayukta is an autonomous body like so in fact one of the congress uh, spokesperson in you know uh, in, uh, in response to this question in fact he was saying that you know there is no reason for uh, sidramaya to resign because on what grounds is the opposition asking sidramaya to resign they are saying that being the chief minister if your police is investigating against you obviously it's not going to work because it's a conflict of interest so sidramaya cannot remain the chief minister he has to step step aside let the investigation happen impartially and then the outcome depending on the outcome the further things can be done now what the congress has said is that see the lokayukta is autonomous so we are in, we, we in no way can interfere with what the lokayukta does so this is the line that they are taking in fact the other body that could have done the same thing was the cbi and the state has withdrawn permission to the cbi so the cbi can't get in so the lokayukta so this is the argument of uh, the congress so that's how they are they are try, attempting to somehow uh, slip through this right but dakshin realistically speaking how fair or how impartial will this loka yukta inquiry be and as what anish uh, was saying that ultimately the loka yukta also come the, comes under the cm so what about the impartiality yeah. fact yeah the loka yukta doesn't come under the cm that's what i'm trying to say it the buck okay. stops with the loka yukta the upar okay. loka yukta has his own set of the loka yukta police who will do the investigation Okay. So the buck doesn't stop with the CM. The buck stops with the Loka Ekta. Hmm. Okay. So in fact, if you look, if you uh, recollect what happened to Yadu Rappa when Santosh Shekhar hmm. was the Loka Ekta, under him there was an investigation done by the Loka Ekta, which came out with certain uh, findings. And then, the, of course, the situation then was different. The context was different. So it was not like Yadu Rappa could do anything about what the Loka Ekta came. So the same situation exists. So there is a element of. autonomy and independence for the loka ekta so if the loka ekta means business they can do a impartial job and if they, they can do anything i mean we cannot presuppose that they will give a clean sheet to sidrame if they find that there is something wrong they will say that something is wrong so and so that is what in fact sidrame himself is saying here yeah. right so dakshin which means uh, that uh, he he does get a a, a lease of like 3 months till the time this inquiry is not over and uh, he needn't step down as uh, from the post of the chief minister dakshin does that See, mean uh, yeah so we are coming here we are uh, we are basically talking about a moral question in the past <clears throat> in the past when any uh, of the elected representatives particularly ministers and uh, <clears throat> ministers and even uh, mps or mlas if they you know they did there were some uh, allegations of misdemeanor or against them and if there was an investigation that was uh, commenced they would invariably resign just to make sure or just to give the impression that things will be impartial and they cannot control the investigation in in, in any way <coughs> so from that point of view if you see uh, sidramaya will have to step down but what sidramaya is saying is that even if i continue i cannot influence the local act investigation in, in any way so why should i step down that is his argument all right uh, let me come to hanif now that how do you think uh, bjp is really going to take it forward like what you said that bjp also doesn't have too many leaders and they don't have many options but they do have taken this as a political opportunity where they can delve deep and they will try and unseat sidramaya somehow but uh, can it spell trouble not only for sidramaya but for dk shiva dk shivkumar as well because he's also a tainted leader there are allegations against him 
So if BJP, I mean, what is the extent to which BJP can really move on as far as this particular case is concerned? Uh, Nilu, there are two aspects, different aspects. One is legal fight. Another one is political fight. Definitely, when we saw all the these two three months happenings in the Karnataka state, BJP has got upper hand in his political fight through the jata from Bangalore to Mysore and everyday press meets and protests and everything. There is an impression in the public also, even in the supporters of Congress party also. Uh, no, 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 Sidrama is doing something wrong. That type of feeling is there in the people also. And see in the MP election, the result of the MP election, it's a warning bell to Congress because almost 143 assembly constituencies, BJP and JDS combined, got the lead in assembly segments. I'm saying not Lok Sabha, in the assembly, Lok Sabha, assembly segments within the Lok Sabha. So it's a, it's a big lead, according to me. The old Mysore belt, totally they have captured you know, because of the help of the JDS. So Congress is, now BJP is getting, if it is taking time also, it is beneficiary, politically beneficiary to BJP. Because the image is slowly tarnishing and the number of questions, the single bench judge, Mr. Uh, in the High Court, uh, Nagaprasana, Justice Nagaprasana rise, that also is uh, very much there in the public arena and people are thinking over that also. See, one question especially, how everything is happening in life of your wife, of your politician and the politician, who, who is the chief minister? He's saying that I, I was not aware of those things. Can we believe this? That was the, that was the question approximately he, the judge asked. So these types of things, doubts and suspicion are all coming in the people of Karnataka also. So if they are drawing, dragging the issue, Congress people, it will politically help the BJP. So they are not in a hurry. They are very cool. They have done, played their chess game very cleverly. They have moved their pawns in the chessboard very cleverly. If there also one question comes, if Sidramaya resigns, if you assume that Sidramaya resigns, then if they are bringing DK Shukumar to the position, then within a month the same situation will be repeated. They will, because right now the case is very open that of ED right on DK Shukumar and that Hawala money's case. So it's very difficult to Congress to decide the situation. So both parties are waiting for a time. Both parties are buying time now. This is the right now that is the situation, I think. Right. But uh, Lakshin, what do you think could be the right time, both for BJP and uh, for Congress? And now that the Loka Yukta inquiry will continue for the next three months, uh, do you think that Congress will really be in a position to change the CM but, or they but, will just continue? But, yeah, yes. But, you yes. Know, one point, one point when I observed the Dakshina Murthy, see the CBA, if court orders to the CBA, then the situation will be different then I think there is no need of the permission of the state government to enter into the case. Right. But the court so far hasn't said anything about the CBI investigation. No, no. Now the, the application ready yesterday, that right. on the inquiry of that, that question may come, I think. It's a right. uh, so, simple, um, honey, because it's not only Karnataka that has withdrawn consent. There are all the most of the non-BJP states uh, have withdrawn yeah, consent yeah. for the CBI. And that cannot be changed. It's, a, it's, a, it's by law, it's by the constitution that they're doing it. So it's not, uh, it's not a temporary move. So it's not like the court can intervene and say that this, this cannot happen. So they're very, they are on a strong wicket as far as the withdrawal of consent to the CBI is concerned. It's not like the court can override that. Yeah. But Gashin, you're saying that the court uh, apparently will not uh, intervene in this matter because it's like a federal right of the state and uh, right. the court would like to intervene in that matter. Because the CBI, see, unlike the NIA, the National Investigation Agency has the mandate for the entire country. The CBI comes under the Delhi uh, Police uh, Establishment Board or something to that effect. So it's yes. that its mandate is only for Delhi. That is the reason why it requires the permission of the state government. Right. In general, what happens by default, the permission is granted for the CBI. The state doesn't come in the way. But 
there can be situations where the state can withdraw a general permission and then decide on a case by case basis if the cbi puts in an application saying we want to investigate such and such a case the state will decide on a case by case basis that is the law actually and that is what has been happening across the non bjp states now the reason for this why is this happening also is because of the lack of credibility of the cbi today the cbi is associated with the ruling party whether you like it or not and you know it's no longer considered an independent body right so oh, that's true but uh, coming back to the question of uh, sidramaiya dakshin to you that uh, uh, now what could be the next turning point in this particular case and what tani for saying that you know both both the uh, bjp and the congress will look for a right time now what could be the right time what could be the turning point now is it going to be the 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 the, the loka yukta report when it's uh, submitted or 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 something else okay so the there is no doubt that there is a lot of pressure on sidramaiya and if you look at the bjp okay the bjp has you know they could never accept the fact that they lost so badly in the 2023 elections they just got 66 seats out of you know 224 and the bj the congress got you know around 135 seats a massive defeat that the bjp experienced they still haven't recovered from that what they expected was after the lok sabha election there would be instability within the congress the bjp will do very well the bjp would get 400 seats in uh, lok sabha and then it would be a matter of time before politically the congress would crumble but nothing of that kind happened so the congress continues to remain uh, united for whatever the differences whatever it is they're continuing to remain united so the Cong the bjp was looking for a foothold and the muda is foot uh, the muda is something that they've got a foothold and they're trying to price open the door with whatever they uh, they can and the bjp in the state is of course backed by the central leadership and so they are very powerful so they are very powerful and they are not going to let go uh, sidramaiya so easily okay but at the same time on what grounds are they asking for the resignation they are asking for the resignation on moral grounds now let's look at sidramaiya himself as an individual does he as an individual is he accountable to for his wife's actions because his wife is also an another individual so one can argue this way as well just because somebody is somebody's wife or brother husband sister you know it doesn't mean that they are accountable to what the other person does now if his wife has got something and there is a uh, corruption case it's it's for the wife to deal with it the cm might be her husband but it doesn't necessarily mean that he can you know he is accountable for what his wife does so there is a technicality there you know it's like a passport you know i cannot my wife cannot travel abroad with my passport because she happens yeah. to be my wife from she needs her own passport she is an individual yeah. of in her own right so i mean yeah. these are questions that will come up and the congress is going to use every trick in the uh, book to uh, to uh, prevent any kind of a collapse or to given the given so easily it's not going to happen so easily so definitely like from what you're saying it's very clear that uh, there is a lot of pressure on sidramaiya but that point which you mentioned dakshin that uh, for whatever reasons congress looks like a united house at least on this front hanif to you uh, are there any chances of uh, uh, you know any chances of this unity within congress collapsing at any point of time uh, because dk shivkumar is also banding around with uh, sidramaiya there are others also in the party what is the reason which keeps the entire flock together within the congress because they all know that uh, they might be attacked is, is that the reason or there's something beyond this but the situation in congress is nothing will be happen without the consent of sidramaiya if they want to select one another parallel leader or another leader that also should be worked by sidramaiya that is the situation right within the party and also dk shukumar if a person selected by sidramaiya for the uh, next cm post if dk shukumar is objecting that and if he is not agreeing that will all will also not happen that is the situation of congress now because it is very tricky situation for the congress one thing is and the questions uh, dakshinamurthy sir said see it is all about a common man not a person who is sitting in the chair of the chief minister if a chief minister doesn't know what happens in the life of her his wife and related to these things see there are number of loopholes are either side in that case even against sidramaiya also so many uh, technical questions are there and logical questions are there 
uh, converting that uh, the delimitation delimitation of the uh, property and uh, dc is giving the certification the certificate that uh, it is belongs to it is a agriculture land and uh, according to the calculation the uh, site around 1.25 uh, acres uh, who lost the sidramaya's wife lost there in kesare village the equivalent amount is or in the in the in the uh, this of site it is only two sites in vijayanagar so and the changes of 60 40 proportion to the 50 50 proportion in all this time the process was taking on sidramaya was there in a power as a deputy chief minister or a, as a opposition leader and as a chief minister so these all the doubts are very valid doubts are there so these doubts are there even in the mind of high command also the question of high command is now they can't change so easily without the consent of sidramaya nothing will happen here that is that is party is because uh, uh, that's why party is very strong behind sidramaya high command is very strong behind sidramaya so let us see i am say, i am also saying that one second we have to see the judiciary what what will happen there for this right. yesterday's application and uh, then the congress may change its uh, this uh, uh, attitude and the policy matter another thing right I I don't know I don't know clearly but yeah. the situation is very tricky either Absolutely. this way or that way right all right so final word to you Dakshin that uh, and again coming back to our moot question that will Sidramaya be able to withstand this pressure there have been many allegations earlier also and somehow he's tried to tide over all the problems and whatever allegations have come against him uh, like previously in the past so will he be able to tide over the problems this time as well and Congress will somehow sail through this. Uh, pressure which is building day by day on this <clears throat> see what is going what is going to happen or what is already happening is sidramaya will be tested to his limits politically his uh, shrewdness um, his ability to manage difficult situations in the past uh, he has done that and um, you know so it's not going to be so simple as to um, you know ensure his resignation because he is not going to give up without a fight whether he gives it up or not also the reason is there is an overall uh, ecosystem of the political ecosystem today where there is a lot of doubts questions about uh, these kind of arrests or corruption cases the kind of you know we have seen kejriwal and his uh, you know ministers who are all in jail for so long they came out nothing has been shown no evidence nothing of that time and they are out you know with nothing I mean the, the uh, the uh, investigating agencies have found nothing in the liquor scam and they are all out so what is also happening is that credi credibility of our institutions investigating institutions are at a really historic low and then you have parties like the bjp who are you know who cannot hold their uh, head for any kind of uh, on any moral issue because they have their own uh, issues which they have to deal with so nobody is clean in this whole um, system so it's a fight it's a political fight and the acumen of sidramaya will be tested to the limit that's how i see so we'll have to wait and watch how uh, de uh, developments unfold in this particular case thank you so much uh, dakshin thank you so much uh, anif for joining and one appeal to the viewers who are watching this discussion subscribe to our channel send us your feedback and stay tuned to the fed